Hey, this is Pastor Ann Ridgell of Shift City Church. You can call me Prophetess Ann, and I'm here to give you your weekly prophetic insight. Yay! So listen, there is so much going on in the world, in the USA, with elections coming up and the Pope saying all kinds of strange things about one world religion. But guess what? We have been anchored in prayer, and I want to give you this prophetic insight, those that are in the online mentoring program and those that are just watching and following us because we do have a mandate to shift our city. So listen, the Lord began to talk to me today about the spirit of truth. And I want you to know that the spirit of truth is an actual person. He, the spirit of truth, when he comes, he will guide you into all truth, right? And so he is going to reveal the truth of the Father's heart to you. He is a person. He is in the form of Christ, the man. And so a lot of people who are going into era, what we're seeing now is a lot of deception and a lot of era. And what the Lord spoke to me was that there is a lack, a miss in the relationship with him, the person of Christ. And so many people have religion, they have charisma, they have emotionalism, they are religious in attending church, they read their Bible, but do you have him, the one who will guide you into all truth? Have you embraced him? And so let's look at a few scriptures. John 8, 32, we'll start back at 31, says, anyone who practices sin is a slave to sin. Jesus was talking to the Pharisees and the Sadducees, and they were very religious. They were very what we think would be devout. And so even in that, all that devotion, dedication, sanctimoniumism, they were in error because he said, you're a slave. And they said, hey, we're not a slave to anybody. We've never been slaves. Okay, so the fact that people don't know that there's a problem is the problem is the problem prophets so a lot of times when we're talking to people my husband said once that you're we're tearing down that false world and that false kingdom and that false empire that they built based upon these deceptions and the thoughts they believe about themselves and these concepts. And so we're trying to dig at that and we're trying to release truth into people's lives, but we have to break down that kingdom of deception first. So there it was with the Pharisees and Sadducees that they were like, we've never been slaves. And they were in such slavery to religion, to tradition, which made the word of God of none effect. It was powerless, okay? And so in order to be free, right? What's going on with my life right now? What's going on with my ministry? What's going on with my world? I believe the Lord wants to give you some insight is there is a lack of truth and God is trying to embrace you by bringing you into an intimacy, bringing you into your prayer closet, bringing you out of just going through the motions of false devotion. Because why I say it's false is because it looks outwardly, the Pharisees outwardly, they look very devout but they did not, they missed the Messiah. They missed truth that came in a human form. Now we have the Holy Spirit coming, ministering to us truth, but we have to receive it and we too can miss it. And so he said, but the truth will make you free. And so this process of liberation, this process of going the mountain and ascending and becoming all that God has for me, oh my gosh, this is a seven year cycle that we've entered into that started in 2022. And some of us have been marked for greatness and some of us have been marked for destruction. What can stop us on both, on both sides? The greatness and the era is truth. The truth will make you free. He will, he can do it, but we've got to embrace him. We've got to carve out time in our busyness in our religious practices to actually sit and hear truth. We have to seek the truth. We have to seek to know him, seek to embrace. And it is beyond what we've been thinking. It's beyond what you think or what you perceive sometimes. So many have gone into error. First John 4 and 6 says, anyone who listens to us is of God. And anyone who doesn't is the devil. This is how we know when someone's in error 
And this is how Jesus knew that they were in error. They would not even listen to the Messiah. He was the Messiah in the earth. He was the word incarnate in the earth and they couldn't hear him. So I want to present this to you. Can you hear now at this stage in your life? Come in close. Can you hear the truth from the clutter? The truth from deception. The first thing you have to do to fix your life, to change your life, to answer your call is to embrace truth. Many people will not embrace truth of themselves and they won't let anybody else show them the truth. So we have to now turn and say, Lord, there could be a truth that I'm missing. There could be a revelation, right? And so the relationship is where you get the revelatory understanding and incitement and, 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 and inspiration, let me say, from the Holy Ghost. So I'm going to be praying for you right now that the spirit of truth that is wooing you, that is calling you into this deep love relationship that we would embrace him. I'm saying myself included. There have been blind spots in my life and in my ministry. And I, I needed to pray the prayer, Lord, not my will, but your will. And give me my daily bread. Give us this daily bread. Give us this truth. Give us this food, this nourishment. Because if we don't have the truth, we are not going to be, we are in error. There is an error in our life if the truth is not prevailing. And so I'm going to pray right now in the name of Jesus, because what's going on in your life is that God is trying to unveil another level of truth. He's trying to heal and deliver. He's trying to set us free. He's trying to encapsulate and release the, the spirit of God in our vessels so that it can manifest itself and love others through our soul and teach others through our soul and prophesy with accuracy, minister our marriages, our children, our home, everything, all the issues of our life are coming out of this wellspring of our heart that must embrace the truth of Christ. And so we pray right now that the diabolical assignment to destroy you and keep you in error and circling around the mountain and to keep you marked for destruction instead of marked for greatness, be broken in the name of Jesus. I pray now that the spirit of truth would come and that I and you would embrace this spirit of truth, that whatever God wants to say to us, we won't be saying la, 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 Holy Spirit, we call upon you now. We ask that you would reveal more truth, more truth, more light, more illumination that will guide our path. There is a place you're taking us to. There is a greatness. There is a call. And so we know that you're choosing those that you are going to pour out your anointing on. You're choosing those right now, every day. You're looking for the yielded. You're looking for those that would glorify you, that would humble themselves. We don't know the way. We we don't know the truth. And so those of you who are praying with me, I believe from this broadcast, there is an anointing of a revelation truth that will change the trajectory of your life, that will change the outcome, something that you've been toiling over, something that you've been oppressed by, that the Lord revealed truth to you right now. Some demonic witchcraft spell be broken over your life today. In the name of Jesus, may you be delivered from the spirit of error. May the truth of God's light shine upon your heart right now. May he illuminate and reveal himself to you. May you become one with Christ. May you seek his kingdom and may you elevate and ascend the mountain of the Lord. Hey, I'm Annie Rigel. Meet me in Winston-Salem in person. Yes, and in rally coming soon. But online, we have the School of the Prophets that'll be starting soon in January 2025. We have Gatekeepers University. And listen, I'm gonna train you to answer the call and not miss the mark. I see you at the top.